guys, welcome back to my channel. Heard that's her man. Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I just keep him satisfied. Um, I know in the last video I said that I'd update you guys on when my posting schedule would be. And as of right now, I'm going to try to be uploading every Monday and Friday. Um, Aaliyah's not with me again, so phew, there's that, but... It's actually a pretty good thing for this video because what we're doing today is um, something she's not very skilled at. But actually, I'm supposed to be seeing her tomorrow, so we're supposed to go swimming. So, I might vlog while I'm with her. Um, move over. Um, so, yeah. As you can see in the title up there. Um, we're going to be reviewing the, um, Gorilla Snot Gel. So you see? Beauty Girl. Mm -hmm. Um, so, if you haven't heard that the Eco Styling Gel has been, uh, canceled, and, which is, it was really sad for me because, like, Eco laid my edges and, you know, it stayed like that. So, um, the reason Eco Styler Gel is cancelled, if you haven't heard, is because some of the ingredients, which I think one would be the amino 2 methyl 1 pro, 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 pro. You know, I, I don't even know how to pronounce these, so I'm not going to try it. I'll link a video below that explains why it was cancelled, but basically there were some chemicals found in the ingredients that basically can cause cancer, cause balding, and stuff like that. And I believe it because, honestly, when I started using Eco, like, I didn't really notice it too much because, like, you know, my edges were slayed. But, like, I was kind of, like, losing hair over here. Like, I don't know, if you saw in the video in, like, my skincare routine, you could kind of see, like, I was, like, balding right here. And, um, if that's not cute. So, I literally got out the shower not too long ago. That's why my hair is kind of still, like, wet. And so, we're going to do my edges today. And we're going to basically see how the Gorilla Snot holds up. Um, I got this at Walmart for, um, I don't know. It couldn't have been that expensive. So, like, I want to say under $5, maybe. And so, I've watched, um reviews about it on YouTube and everyone says it's good and it's a good replacer for eco styling gel and so hopefully this is good and it can uh slay my edges like eco did um I I don't like that it's called snot because that that's kind of gross and I took a look at it like before when I was buying it and it's like yellow so it looks like snot, that's, that's kind of gross. So basically today, I'm just going to be doing my edges and seeing how it holds. And I'll do updates throughout the day. I don't really have plans for today, so um, I don't know. I usually go on like a walk at night though. So this video might get uploaded late because... Uh, right now it's like almost five o'clock and so yeah so I'm gonna go get the stuff that I need to do my edges and then we'll get right. started so I got the stuff that I need to do my edges which is a toothbrush and like a thin tooth comb with like a well kind of a tail comb but it's like not the uh, I don't know you just bear with me okay so I got the comb and the toothbrush so we got that and of course we have the gel I have a hair tie to get my hair out my out the way because um I can't do my edges while my hair is like there because my edges are under. So we're just gonna put my hair up and like a ponytail on the back of my head. My hair looks really short. And it's funny because I didn't even cut it. So what we're gonna do this is kind of be an edge tutorial too. Let me get closer. So we're gonna open this look look at this. I don't know how I feel about that. So we're going to put some of the snot on the back of my hand. 
kind of that's kind of gross. So we're just gonna. It's all stringy. So it's it's cold. No, I gotta go right now. <laughs> it smells like. It doesn't smell, but I don't know what it smells like. Whatever. Um, it, it doesn't smell bad though, so that that's good. Um, I have Eco here to like compare. Eco, they kind of smell the same. And if you don't know Eco's consistency, it's nothing like this Gorilla Snot. We're just gonna grab a little on my finger, and it's just like, I don't know. It's not stringy, but it's not liquid. It's like. I don't know, gel. So, anyways, we're just gonna like get right into it. So my edges are like dry. So we're just gonna like brush all my edges down. Right, right, yeah. And I'm gonna look like one of those boys, you know, <sighs> you know that get like, I don't know, the, the F boy haircut, and then like they have these little hairs going here, but it's like shaped up to be like a hairline. You, sh you should know what I'm talking about. My edges are like a little long on the sides. Like really long actually. And. I don't know how you do your edges. But like I do mine in like swoops. Like you know. You'll, you'll see. Look at the little hairs like popping up. Oh my god. And yeah. So the snot feels really weird on my hand right now. So we're just going to like get right into it. So, I usually start on this side of my head because, um, it's my right side and it's easier to do because, you know, I usually like go like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I start in the upper corner of my, uh, hairline. So, yeah. So, we're just gonna grab a little bit of this, this knot. This is really disgusting, actually. And I'm trying to get, like, a string to go away. I don't know if it's too much. It might be too much, but whatever. Oh, oh. It kind of like... I don't... It feels like I'm putting, like, a glue stick to my edges. Like, I don't know. It feels weird. So we're going to do my toothbrush now. And we're going to, like, brush it into a swoop. If you, you get what I mean, right? And that's what I use the comb for. To like. I feel like my edges, they get covered up by like by my hair. Because I wear my hair out a lot. Because it looks short and like ponytails and stuff like that. And I kind of look like a little boy. Um, so yeah. Um, now we're gonna just do the rest to like these hairs. And let's hope for the best. I think I should have wet my edges because they're feeling like mad dry for some reason right now. And I don't, my hair is not dry. Like, what? I just conditioned it. So that my hair wouldn't be like ridiculously ugly and um, looking nappy. Because that's not attractive, right? Yeah, I know. <sighs> um, yeah, so while I do my edges, because like, I just told you what to do there, I'm, I'm going to talk about something else. So, you know, let's talk about little siblings. So, me and my family... I have, what, four little siblings, two younger brothers, and two younger sisters, right? And my little sister, I, I live with two of my, no, two, two of my other sisters sometimes, but my other little sister, Journey, she comes, like, every once in a while, so she kind of lives with us. So, we're just going to say I live with three. Um, so, yeah. I always end up having to cancel my plans because I have to watch my little siblings. Like, last year, I went, 
I was going to go to the movies with my friends because you know, um, I that, think that it was dance? after the. That, what was that it? I think it was, dance? So I think I it was a town show, which I, was I originally in. did it with three. Well, which two of my friends kind of and my sister. This was like kind of not really my yeah, sister, last year. Sister, so, so like, yeah. you know when um, those clowns and like those. Then one ended up getting two ended up getting in trouble. trouble. And then no we skipped again. practice this one time, right? So and we both lied about like the, the why we skipped practice. Part well, of me she didn't look well, skinny jeans on, and you know, my head. I don't know how to put it, but like we skipped practice, and I forget what she said, but I know she had to go watch her brother Azriel. Oh, I'm talking about Jordan, by the way. And so she went home, and I went home too because I was about to sit here and go through practice um, by myself when it was a, a partner dance. So, um, we skipped practice, and it was, like, what, a couple of days away from the show, so the, Miss Harper, the person that, like, ran the talent show, was, like, really mad. So she, I was in, what, music class? Because I didn't want to do chorus that year. I was in music class, and she pulled me out because her and the music teacher share a room. And so she asked me, she was like, oh, why didn't you come to practice yesterday? And, you know, like, I lied. I lied. Because I didn't want to get in trouble. And so... Then she ended up calling my mom, and I totally, like, switched the whole subject. We were talking about little sisters. But anyway, little siblings. But anyway, yeah. And she called my mom, and then my mom was like, oh, I don't know why she went home. She could have stayed after, da-da-da. And so, basically, my mom snitched on me, and you know what? Yeah. And so, basically, Miss Harper was like, oh, don't bother coming to the show tonight, and, and then, unless you apologize. So, you know, I was like, you know what? I was really excited to go to the talent show. You know, I made it in, and I want to do it. So, I apologized, but Jordan did it. Like, she said we could do it as long as we apologize and she like didn't i don't think it was that she didn't want to apologize i think her mom told her not to apologize for what reason uh, i don't know none of my business but yeah her mom told her not to apologize so she didn't and i went and i was by myself like the whole state but you know what it was pretty good i don't have a video like i don't know who recorded it but yeah it was a pretty it, i wouldn't even say embarrassing because it was kind of fun i was like the only one that did something upbeat like everyone else was like singing sad songs or and there was like this one other girl that did a dance thing and it was kind of like upbeat and hip hop and it was actually really cool and <clears throat> so yeah so i ended up doing the talent show by myself and it was actually pretty it had a good outcome because after that um one of the teachers mr sullivan he like i don't know noticed me and so he like started talking to me more and it was it was, it was really nice it was like i got put under his arm and so let me tell you the story about mr sullivan so this one time i got kicked out of english class because my friend savannah was talking to me and she the English teacher, Miss Newsom, thought that we that I was talking, so she kicked me out of class. And he, I was on Team Six, and he was a teacher for Team Five, I think. And oh, I, on my forehead, I basically do the same thing as a swoop, so you know, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and I, he was a teacher for Team Five, and he was at lunch, and I was I had lunch next period, but we were down in the computer lab, so it was next to the cafeteria. And I think he was about to go outside, and he saw me, and he was like, why are you not in class? I was like, I got kicked out because my friend was talking, and she thought it was me. And then so he was like, okay, go with what I'm saying. He was like, I'm going to go in there and say that, oh, why, why you got my cousin out here in the hallway? So basically, oh my god. So basically, he was going to pretend like he was my cousin to get me out of trouble. So, yeah, so he went in there, and he did it, and then, so I come back inside, and Miss Newsom, my English teacher, was like, um, is he really your cousin? And when he was telling me what he was going to say, he told me what to say when she asked that. And it really didn't take that much uh, intelligence. He really could have gone without saying it, but just be like, my mom's sister, so my aunt, is his mom. Which is kind of weird if you think about it. But yeah, so I said that, and it wasn't called. Everything was fine, you know. The, the Him being my cousin actually went on through the whole year, and like other people believed it too, like not even just the teachers. And he was kind of like a assistant principal, kind of. And he got me out of trouble a lot that year. Like, this one time I should have got suspended for... I don't know what it was. I think... Oh, because this boy stepped on my shoes. And Ahmed, I think that was his name. And I'm just, like, exposing everyone. And that's my God. So I went and I chased him in the cafeteria and I kicked him. And this long, ugly substitute lady followed me and was like, Oh, go to the office. I was like, if I have to go to the office, he's coming to the office with me. Because he's the whole reason I did that. Because I'm not just going to go and kick someone for no reason. And so, yeah, I went to the office and eventually and i kind of like refused to at first and i had gotten like a lot of like little write-ups like talking in class and stuff like that having my phone out and i've got like write-ups for that and what's my card so I, I just got out of it with uh, in school suspension i don't have had out school suspension also i would have gotten more trouble but whatever so 
I'm just gonna end the story there. But basically, the moral of the story, I got in a lot of trouble from performing in the talent show by myself. So, um, lesson learned was, um, never give up. Um, I know it's kind of really general, but, like, if I would have just was out, like, oh, I'm not gonna perform because I'm performing by myself and it's a group act. No, I just, like, went up there. It was, it was really fun and it was really refreshing to see everyone watching me. And uh, no one, like, booed me. I got claps and everything, so, yeah, yeah, win-win. I think I was in trouble at the time. I think I got in trouble for lying and I didn't have my phone. I know that much. But, yeah, so, that was fun. So, yeah. So now my edges are done, you see, not the best I've ever done, but you know, it's whatever. Like. Okay, so, but it's just gonna have to do. So I'll check in, um, every like two hours and update on my things. I'm really interested to see if it's gonna flake or if it's gonna like not hold all day. Cause I do a lot of laying down and like taking naps and like, so let's just just hope that it goes through all this fine because eco did but unfortunately eco is out of the picture um so yeah Okay, guys, it's been like two hours okay. since I last. So it's been like, uh, check the little edges. Four hours? And, well, since five. I did my edges. And so far, I've been like, yeah, almost like four hours since I did my edges. And then, I mean, so, like, they haven't, like, came everything's up holding or together and flaking. So and I just took good. my sister to the um, park and I took so, a nap. So far, the grill Everything's, like, staying in place. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I'll check back in the next two hours. So far, I think that was my burrito. I think after an hour or so, like 10, I'm gonna do the last check in and update, and then I gotta hurry up and edit because it's Friday, and I gotta upload this on Friday because I just said that I was gonna upload on Mondays and Fridays. So, wish me luck, and also, like, everything's okay, like. The only thing I don't like about it is, like, it kind of feels hard to the touch. Like, it feels like, you know when you put hairspray in your hair and it gets, like, all hard and crunchy? That's what it feels like. I, I, I mean, I don't mind it, but it's not something I like. Like, I didn't really notice that with Eco, but I guess with this, it's more, like, noticeable, so. Okay, so I changed my mind because I started editing it, and the video is already pretty long, so this is going to be the outro. So, I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe. My overall 